Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so first off, um, gonna go ahead and give another update. Um, if you didn't see my Instagram post, um, and just again, if if you didn't watch my previous video, um, I lost my brother last week. Um, and then on top of that, I um, also just lost uh, my cat misery as well um, two days ago. So um, this past week is just um, really heartbreakingly full of loss for me. So, um, and uh, I, I am not handling it well. I don't know how to even function, really. Uh, don't let makeup and shit fool you. I just, I, I do not, I am very sleep deprived. Um, I don't even really know how to function right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down one minute and then the next minute I'm just, I don't even know how to explain it. I just, I'm really not, I, I don't, I don't know how to process this at all. Um, and, uh, just, yeah, I really don't know how to handle this at all. Um, so things are not looking, looking great mental state wise. For me, um, and everything, but, uh, um, we, uh, me and Joe went out, um, today and, um, got some, some more movies and stuff. Um, unfortunately, not went as planned as far as Black Friday stuff and being able to order the stuff I wanted off of Groove, the steel books and everything. Um, so, um, just did, uh, like I said, uh, if you watched my last video, Rouse is extremely overstocked on, um, on the 50 cent wall or doing everything for 25 cents right now because one of our other record stores, um, is closing, um, is going out of business or whatever, and so they bought all of their movies for, um, really cheap and are selling them for really cheap now. It's, yeah, if that makes any sense. Um, so they brought out, like, three, um, huge totes for me to go through, and, um, And yeah, I don't even know how many. It's more than 70. It's pro probably close to 100 that I found uh, this time. And that's not even close to all the stuff that they have. But, um. Got that. I figured I'd go ahead and share. And then, um. Uh, Joe got this for me yesterday. Um, as kind of a, a surprise. Um, but he got me this awesome uh christmas jack little standy greeter guy um so i've gotten a couple other jack stuff we got today or not jack nightmare before you know what i mean nightmare before christmas things so um but i love him he's he's so adorable he he's not a he's not um what is it animatronic or whatever he's just a a standy, so he just, you know, he's sturdy on his feet, so he could just stand. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is for the 30th anniversary, so, but he's just so damn adorable, so I'm gonna kind of maybe put him right here so he can be in the video with us. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to go fast since there's a lot in this video because I also, um, there's a couple from, um, Ralph's a few weeks ago that, um, 
were the regular 50 cent price ones, uh, before they got all this new shit in, and then, um, like a month ago, or so, um, found, um, I don't know, some shit from, uh, the pawn shop, too, that was, like, 50 cents each, so I just figured I'd just lump everything together, um, and show it off to you, uh, or share it with you, um, to just put out in this video, I don't know, um, but, uh, the next thing is, if you guys remember, I used to have a Christmas, or, I mean, uh, yeah, no, it was a Christmas one, um, gift bag behind me, um, and I found a new one at Walmart, um, so I want to hang this one up, I just gotta find my, my fucking, um, are they called tacks, right, the push pins or whatever, because I don't want to put tape on this, um, because I don't want to ruin the bag, so, but, uh, I think this was only like two or three, two forty eight for this. So, but I love the stripes on this compared to that how the other one was. It was just a red background, but I love that. And then found this awesome um, ornament set of Jack and Sally. And it opens up like a book. And I'm not gonna open this. I don't, we don't even, it's been fucking years since we've done a damn Christmas tree. Um, there was somebody, uh, fucking hell, I can't remember who it was, um, who, uh, had a, a whore, you know, like a whore Christmas tree or whatever, but, I mean, it was a, a green tree or whatever, but it, I think they keep it up all year long, but, um, you know, because I love, it's one of my favorite genres is a uh, whore Christmas, or Christmas whore or whatever, so I would love to actually, if I can fucking ever get um, this room squared away, and get shit to be able to be displayable, um, to get a, a black, or actually a black and white, um, probably have to do that myself, like spray paint it or whatever, um, but black and white Christmas tree and leave it up year round and, uh, actually be able to do, cause I've, I have other ornaments I've showed some off and then, um, like I, I have, they don't make or I haven't seen them in a long time, but I used to try to collect, uh, the horror bookmarks that I would see between, um, Walmart and almost Second and Charles, um, and those could be used too for ornament, or, um, yeah, ornaments to decorate the tree and stuff. That'd be really cool. Okay, so I am, I am rambling because... I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, this was, I think, like, 24, 25, whatever the fuck, um, over at Walmart. But this, this is fucking awesome. I love this. So, got that. And then, um, and then this is the last Nightmare Before Christmas thing I got. I've always, always, always wanted an ugly sweater, and, um, I don't know if they've ever done this before at Walmart or not, but they have an ugly sweater of Jack. So, because I've seen them on, um, on, like, Instagram of, like, the whore, you know, they have, um, <sighs> Jiggy, please don't knock everything over, bless you, bless you, of, um, God, of just any whore character, you know, uh, Leatherface and, and Michael and, 
and Krampus and all kinds of shit like that. And I fucking love those. And I still want to get those ones as well. Of course, those are more like $50, $60. This was like $20 for this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, just thought this was really cool. Because, I, like I said, I've never owned an ugly sweater. And, and I've always wanted one. But I wanted one in that kind of, you know, the horror or this kind of, my kind of style. Rambling again, sorry. This is probably going to be the worst fucking video, but at least it gives me something to fucking do, I guess. I don't know. The only fucking Black Friday things that we fucking did um, was we did go up to, god damn it, Best Buy. Because um, I saw that they had uh, The Walking Dead, the complete 11th season on Blu-ray for only $11.99. Um, and this is uh, the final season. I, I don't know why I thought there were 12, but it says this is the final season. So now I have the complete series. Um, and now I can um, probably, one of these days, just like with Supernatural, because I haven't finished that one either. Um, even though it's been done for, I think, a couple years now. Um, but anyways, I need to finish watching them, and I, and now I can finally, um, go ahead and finish off The Walking Dead as well. So, but, got this, because I wanted to, because that was a fuck of a deal. And then, um, of course, the Steelbook went out of print fucking so damn quick, but... Hopefully it'll come back in stock or someone will sell it for a decent price. But for right now, I just wanted to be able to at least have a copy so I could watch it of uh, John Wick 4. So, um, because I haven't seen it yet. And I love the John Wick series, so. John Wick 4. And then, um, Joe thought this was only $20.00. It was actually seventy fucking dollars, but um, at Walmart the Expendables Steelbook uh, uh, one through four. Um, uh, nice artwork, and I, of course, you know I've said many times I love the Lionsgate Steelbooks, but um, I actually completely forgot about the Twilight um, set. And, um, I watched Miranda's video earlier, and it is very gorgeous. Um, and yes, I don't care what anybody thinks. I do love those movies. Not for vampires, though. Vampires do not fucking sparkle, but I do love the love story in it. And, um, and the werewolf parts and stuff like that of it. Um, but, uh, and plus with that one, you actually get you know, individual, five individual steel books instead of just one like this. Um, so I may, I may decide to, to go ahead and, and return this and go ahead and spend the extra $20. Cause I think it's like $90 for that set and get the, that set. But, um, I'm not sure yet. But I think that I might do that because also Best Buy is about to be gone with their um it, their shit anyways. So that's um that's everything from there. That's all the Black Friday shit. Not gonna be able to do anything else, which whatever. Um And, um, all right, I'm going to go the pawn shop stuff first. Um, found this, uh, Sean Connery collection. Um, it has Cuba, A Bridge Too Far, and Never Say Never. Which, it's funny, it doesn't actually have A Bridge Too Far in it. It has... Groundhog's Day, but I already have a copy of A Bridge Too Far, so, um, that's okay. I got it for the other two because I don't have either one of those, so I just thought that was funny. 
Like, how the hell did fucking Groundhog's Day end up in there? But. And then got all three of the Creed movies. Yeah, I'm just gonna show the front, you guys. I don't wanna. Otherwise, like I said, it's gonna be for fucking forever. Um, Get Rich or Die Trying. Um, I think this is, a uh, yeah, Made Men. Um, Some Kind of Wonderful. I want to get the steelbook for this. Um, I do have the DVD um, criterion for this, but I wanted to get this as well because it's Johnny Depp. But um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And... Again, this is one of the ones that's on freaking Groove that I wish I could get, but oh well. Um, the Last of the Mohicans. Or no, that's Last Samurai. Any, whatever. Last, last. Um, Red Dawn, the original one. When was this one from? Uh, looks like 84. I think this one's getting, or maybe it's already out, uh, getting a steel book too pretty soon, or it's already out. And then we got, uh, Secrets of the Mountain. And, uh, Relative Strangers. And we got Blood Into Wine, and this is a rock and roll version of Sideways. So, I do have Sideways, but I've never actually watched it, so. And then Hurricane Season. And got this uh, Miramax uh, collection. It's got... Uh, no Code of Contact, Blackjack, uh, Bravo 2-0, and Ordinary Decent Criminal. And the underneath. Brand New Day. The Journeyman. And I don't even know why I kept this one because it's scratched to hell and it doesn't even have like a cover to it. But kind of sucks because I don't have this one at all, but it's um Sleeping Beauty, the original. So really sucks that it's scratched so bad. But I don't know, maybe I could see if it plays, will it play, will it play at least once? Because I can't even remember the last time that I saw Sleeping Beauty. And then, um, got, um, double feature of, a uh, Showdown in Little Tokyo and, uh, Bloodsport. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, then we got uh, Flicka Country Pride. And the West Side Waltz. And we've got Dog. And this one is 84 
the Charing Charing Cross Road. I don't know, but it's Anthony Hopkins. I want to get uh, his entire filmography. He's one of my one of my favorites. I love him. And then uh, got this uh, Wayne's four pack. It has white chicks, blanket man, little or yeah, blanket blank man. Yeah, because, yeah, Blank Man. Okay, maybe. I don't, <sighs> Little Man and then Mo Money. Ugh, I can't even fucking read. Um, and then all three of the Jumanji movies. I don't think I've seen the, um... The next level one. I don't think I've seen that one yet. But I, of course I love. The first Jumanji. I, yeah. Love that one. And. I, I don't know if I'm really ever going to. Watch this or not. But I I don't know. I just went ahead and grabbed it. But uh, Cheech and Chong's. Uh, hey watch this. And, um, got Kevin Hart, uh, and in fatherhood, and it says it's based on the endearing true story. So, I have no idea. And another Kevin Hart one, uh, was Woody Harrelson, uh, the man from Toronto. Hit man meets dead man. So somebody was getting rid of some of the Kevin Hart shit that they had. Apparently. I don't know. And then um, got Gentle Ben 2 with Dean Cain. And Alien Storm. And a sealed copy of Gone with the Wind. And then The Hitcher. I love this movie so much. I really need to rewatch the original again because I remember the last time that I watched it, which is years ago, that I actually did not like it. As much as this one. This one was so much better in my opinion. I like the Hitcher too. The one with um, I think it's Jake Busey. Busey. Um, I haven't seen that one in a really long time either. But uh, I remember liking that one. But the, the original Hitcher I did not. Did not really like. Um, Dear Dumb Diary. And then got the Ace Ventura Pet Detective Collection, um, which really sucks because I think I already have, but I wasn't sure the both of the Ace Ventura ones, but it was the, the animated, um, oh my god, why can't I, the little animated series one. Um, but this is scratched a fuck, so. But I couldn't remember if I had all, all of them or not, so that's why I was like, I'm just gonna grab it, because the other two discs are good. For some reason, somebody just wanted to fuck up the damn animated series. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, Story of Echoes. Love this movie, too. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Swingers, right? Yeah. Um, beautiful thing.
And the last one for the pawn shop is a code of silence. Okay, and then this um, uh, this next little bit will be the ones that I got a couple weeks back from Rouse that were uh, 50 cents. I finally, finally got back Superstar. I love this movie. I haven't seen it in fucking years, though, so I don't remember a lot about it other than the armpit thing um, and shit, but I fucking always thought this movie was fucking hilarious um so so happy to finally have this one back um and then got uh blood uh some brero i think sombrero something like i don't know something like that And then, uh, Murder in Greenwich. And, um, I think it's Juarez or Jarrez, Mexico. This one says, based on true events. I think this Murder in Greenwich is, a. Uh, yeah, the true story of one of the most talked about murder cases in America. Um, it's the unsolved murder of 15-year-old Martha Moxley. So that's this one. So two, two more true story ones. And then got this uh, 15 movie ninja assassin thing. Um... And then on, you want to read what's on the back. But I want to try to get into more um, uh, I don't know what you want to call this. China uh, cinema or uh, ninja kung, kung fu movie. Whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know. Um then got, uh, I think this is Repentance. That's what I'm going to go for. And then this is, um, maybe not. I thought this was a Jim, the puppet dude, Jim Henson or some shit, but now I don't see his name anyways um magic or max Ma let's say magician i think that says magician uh max wonka wonka can you move can you move uh max Mag uh so magician i don't know and the legend of the rings fuck if i know And then, um, Tony Collette in Murderous Intent. That own page. Kind of look like Ellen Page over here. But I don't see her name on the back. I don't know who that is. And then we got uh, Bruce the Superhero. Uh, Bruce, this is L-E instead of L-E-E. -E. So I think, because I think there's two different uh, Bruce Lee people. Um, it says Bruce Lee stars in this martial arts adventure. Uh, the other guys was like L I though I I don't know I have no freaking clue and then I think this one's a true story one too um but uh I um I 
Idris Elba, uh, Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. I love Idris Elba, or I, I think that's right, Idris Elba is how you say his name. I love him so much. He's such a phenomenal actor. Um, but that's that was it from, from a few weeks ago. Now everything else is going to be what we picked up today. And like I said, I think it's it's probably about 100 movies today. Um, and uh, the, uh, there was there's only like four, I think, Blu-rays actually. Um, but hey, at least... There's some Blu-rays, but there's like 20 snapper cases this time, which was awesome. Um, especially one um, right here. This one with uh, Mel Gibson that never even heard of. Um, the Year of Living Dangerously, but it's Mel Gibson and Sigourney Weaver. Never even heard of this movie. But I thought that was a really cool find. I'll go ahead and show the back on this one. And he looks super freaking young. I think this is from 82. 82, 83 are both the years on there. So, but yeah, he looks, I mean, look at how freaking young he looks right there. This shit is insane. So. Um, I'm just gonna keep on going with the steel books because they're just this is the steel books. Oh my god, snapper cases because they're all right here. Um, and some of these I may I don't fucking know. Um, but anyway, it's got a fire down below. Um, presume pers yeah presume pers. That doesn't sound right. Presumed innocent. There we go. I think that's right. Um, the Art of War. Um, this is sealed. Um, and I'm probably just going to keep it sealed because I already have the entire series. But um, especially with Maggie Perry passing and everything like that. Uh, the Best of Friends, uh, Volume 1. One of my favorite all-time sitcoms. And, uh, like I said, with Matthew Perry passing and everything like that, I thought that was, that was, uh, a cool find, especially sealed. And then, um, Romeo Must Die. Black Beauty. Showtime. And then, I don't listen to this kind of music at all, so, but I, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting, and I think it's actually only one song, and instead of like a, um, a compilation of music videos type thing, but it's, it's Madonna, um, it has the parental advisory explicit content on the front, on the front, um, but I think it's just for... It says music, so I don't know. Does she have a song that's called music? Um, that's that's what it is. I don't know. Because it even says it again on the back. It says music version one and then music and then there's another view and it just says music so i don't fucking know i i usually saw madonna in concert with my dad back when i lived in uh california i don't know why that just it didn't click with me until just now so maybe actually i might keep it just because uh because of that <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can't believe I forgot about that. Um, he didn't buy the tickets for me or anything. His girlfriend that he was 
dealing with at the time was like sick or something like that. And he was like, I don't want the ticket to go to waste because of course it was expensive. Um, anyways, um, then got a Father's Day. Who's in tight? And then, um, forget Paris. And my giant. And then we got um, Wag the Dog. And I, I don't know what this is exactly about. Um, uh, I know John and uh, from the Good Movies podcast and Kenny and Anna. Uh, Sean and everybody was, uh, talking about, um, talking about, uh, Kennedy, um, for one of our shows and stuff, but, um, I don't, this, I, I don't know what this is, like I said, but this says the search for Kennedy's, um, PT-109, um, uh, it's embark on the search for the truth about one of the most legendary war stories of the 20th century. Um, set sail with Dr. Robert Ballard, discoverer of the Titanic, as he attempts to locate JFK's sunken torpedo boat, PT-109. I have no clue what the hell this is. I, I mean, it says it right there, but I don't actually, I don't understand what that means any of that so but uh that is yeah natural na a national god geographic uh documentary so and like i said we were talking about doing an episode about jfk and stuff so i thought this would be cool to pick up wonka oh yeah just refuse to leave me alone. Why? And then, I think these might be the last two, I'm not sure. Um, got Eraser. And Heat. I still want to, I think Heat has a steelbook out. I want to get a steelbook for that. I've never seen the movie, but... And then, um, just going to start randomly going with all the other stuff. This, uh, just came just like this, but it's a Robot Chicken, uh, Season 1. So it doesn't have, like, the little, like, slip case or whatever, but I recognized from right here, I was like, oh, that must be a Robot Chicken something. Um, and then we got, I think this is Lulu on the bridge. That. And I have no fucking clue how to pronounce this. Um, but it's Miramax International. Um, so... It looks like it was nominated for some Oscars or something. I don't know. But I'm way more open, like I said, to, to foreign films. So, no issues there. And, uh, like I said, since this place, um, this other record store was closing down, they have a wide variety of stuff. So, I got, like, a lot of documentary stuff, too. Uh, this is The Hunt for John Wilkes Booth, uh, from the History Channel. And then, um, can't remember if this is the one that I got a couple weeks back or whatever that had the wrong disc in it, but, uh, Shogun's Ninja. 
but this one actually has the right disc in it, so I don't know, but there's that one. Um, Hellfighters, the ESPN film. And then Dark Days, reading on the back of it, it looks like it's a documentary about um, the homeless people who live in the tunnels in New York. So, and it's shot in black and white, which is kind of interesting too. So, and I got this triple feature of Van Damme movies. And then uh, one of the Blu-rays that I got is a uh, Boyka on Disputed 4 um, with, I think that's Scott Adkins. And then um, Breakaway. Um, I... I don't know if this is a documentary or or what this is because it does say fake fate faith the based documentary so I have no idea and again another thing that I cannot read it is in another language but it does say um, Or, I'm guessing that's, it says Dutch slash English. So, I don't know if that's for subtitles or for just language that you can choose. But, uh, I'm pretty sure this says family film up at the top. But, yeah, whatever these are. So, why not? And uh, another History Channel one is uh, Mankind, the Story of All of Us. And um, this is 9 hours and 12 minutes. It's a 12-part miniseries. Inventors, Iron Men, Empires, um, Warriors, Plague, Survivors, New World, Treasure, Pioneers, Revolutions, Speed, and New Frontiers. So, uh, that sounded pretty interesting. I like this kind of stuff. It's not always just true crime that of kind of documentaries or whatever that I watch. It's I like interesting stuff like this too. And then um, I thought this was really awesome to find. Um, we are still here. Uh, this house needs a family. I think this is one that was on Shutter or something like that. But, uh, really happy to find that one. That was a really cool find. And then... Shit ton more. Then, um, got three... This is a Wogo USA one. It says stunningly violent mayhem. Um, and then uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. And look at the original price on this for sixteen dollars. I think that shit's crazy. Um, and then this is Hong Kong, nineteen forty-one. All right, one sec. You gotta move, honey. <sighs> and then we got the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. No, watch out, Martha. Go, please. And then, uh, Battlestar Galactica, Galactica, uh, Razor. Um, 
And then I got uh, two of these book ones. Um, Ancient Civilizations. Uh, this is a King Tut Secrets Re Revealed. So it's um, got a disc and then I don't know if these are, I don't think these are considered digi books, but I have no idea. I think they're just more informational. But maybe, maybe that is what a digi book is. I, I don't really know anything about digi books, to be honest. Um, and then the Great Barrier Reef and Northeast Australia, a land of natural wonders. Uh, it's just the same thing. It's got a little bit of stuff about it in there. And then another History Channel one, uh, Lost Book of Nos Nostradamus. There you go. God. And then, um, got what's this one special forces and then the take oh no nope, here's a couple more snappers um there's a uh, one of the other Blu-rays, uh, "The Art of Getting By" with Freddie Highmore and Emma Roberts, and um, got four more snappers here. Got American History X. Love this movie. Uh, Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, National Lampoon's. Um, Loaded Weapon 1. And then, um, Batman. Tim Burton. Any and every version of any of his movies I want to get. So, I do, um, have, of course, this on Steelbook, but I didn't have it on Snapper. So, absolutely ecstatic to to find that um god I'm gonna try to fucking figure shit out somehow and then the art of action martial arts in the movies featuring a bunch of people but this is narrated by Samuel L. Jackson and it's sealed so I was just like inter well it says it's pre-owned but it's sealed, though, so I don't fucking know. The price tag on it, the price tag says it was a big lots thing for only $3. But, uh, yeah, sure, I don't know. And then, In the Name of the King, and In the Name of the King too. Uh, Zoom, I've gotten this movie like five different times because I think each time I've gotten it, the disc has been severely scratched, but I really do like this movie. I think it is just really cute, um, so, and I think this one's in perfect condition, so hopefully I can stop fucking trying to buy it now, um, and then this is, uh, Discovery Atlas, China Revealed. So, I have, I don't know, another documentary type thing, but it, like, I don't know, it opens that way, and then there you go. So, interesting. And then, uh, Evil Knievel, I have no idea, it's probably one of, the, I think it's one of those free domain ones or whatever, because it's in one of those slim cases, 
So, but, and I don't know if this is based on, like, says the story behind the most extreme daredevil of our time. So, I think it might be based on a true story, on, on his actual story, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and they got a, god dang it, Supernova. Oh, so much more to go still. Did I even show these things off? Did I? <clears throat> I don't think I shared these ones. Sorry if I already did. I can't remember. Drive me crazy. Um. Yeah, ninety nine. So yeah, this was was this was teenage or in the pre whatever fuck. I, Growing up with this movie is what I did. So, yeah. And then, um, A Fish Called Wanda. Because Jamie Lee Curtis. I have never seen this movie, though. So, um, from 88. So, but, uh, I definitely need to seriously check that one out. Because Jamie Lee Curtis, for God's sakes. Okay. Still got a whole nother fucking ton to go. I don't even know how many that's been so far from this. Okay. And this is a great great fucking movie even though it's been years since I've seen it. But, um, Defiance. True story. And then, uh, I think I found another one of these because there's obviously more than one. But, uh, that's Entertainment 3. Brand new sealed, so. Um, King's Ransom. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, er, Dumb and Dumber 2. I have no idea what the hell this is, but just, you'll see the cover, and there you go. Uh, the Underground Comedy Movie. You got two freaking hot chicks taking a shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the hell? But, uh, sure, why not? Um, War Inc. John Cusack. And then, um... Never even heard of this one. I haven't heard of a lot of shit, but uh, this one's called Waterproof, uh, but it's got Burt Reynolds in it, so there you go. And then um, a single shot. Uh, this one sounds good, and it's got uh, Sam Rockwell, uh, Jason Isaacs, and William H. Macy. Those are the names I at least recognize. And the big hit. <sighs> and then we got Lee. I think this says Legionnaire with uh, Jean Claude. And the note. And this one is, uh, The Weight. The Black Stallion Returns. Okay, this is where I was getting mixed. This is the Jim Henson one. Uh, Three Pigs and a Baby. And then, uh, The Dust Factory. And, um, Sam Elliott, double feature, gone to Texas in Blue River. And then we got Autofocus. And 
and I don't, I think this one got gotten by mistake because I don't even know what the hell this is in any way. I can't read any of it. So there's that part of it, and then there's that part of it. I have no clue anything about it. So, um, I've got Soldiers of Fortune. Um, I hope they serve beer in hell. And then, um, Armageddon, exploring the doomsday myth. And, um, it's a doomsday 2012, the end of days, uh, the Mayan doomsday prophecy, and then doomsday tech, and more doomsday tech. So. And then we got Mount St. Helen. Helens. My bad. And then, um, got another one, um, from the film movement, uh, this one's, uh, called Spare Parts. Ugh. And, um, what, Fantastic Four, the newest one. Uh, never even heard of this one, but it's got Nicolas Cage in it, uh, Jiu Jitsu. So, interesting with that one. Frenemy. With Jack, Zach, with Zach Galifianakis. God. And then, um, I think this is just Chinese writing because it does say language is English. Um, but there's no business like show business with uh, Marilyn Monroe. But if you look on the back, it's got the Chinese writing and stuff on it. But down at the bottom, like I said, it says that a uh, language is English. So, but anyways, um, and then again, I think this, I think these are what you call the free domain ones or whatever. I'm not sure, but um, the big cat. It says field one. Um, it says excellent outdoor adventure movie. So there you go. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. And then um, this one is called Dark Girls, uh, Real Women, Real Stories. It's like a collection uh, about uh, dark, dark skinned women um, and stuff, their stories or something. And then um, freaking, what is it called? Private Parts with uh, Howard Stern. And then, uh, White Fang, the complete series. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. And then we got, uh, Skin Trade. The Magnet one. I said many times I want to get all the Magnet Magnolia ones. Um, and then this is one, um, because just like we did last time, um, he got three PS3 games, and then we got this one movie that was $4, um, called Metal Shifters. Never even heard of it before, but. That one, okay, got a fucking Miley Cyrus one called So Undercover. Meet the FBI secret weapon. So. I don't fucking know. And then this just just sounded really cute. Um, I think it's it goes animals in the womb. I don't really know how the title is supposed to go. Or womb. 
in the womb animals. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be read. I don't know. But. Just, uh, yeah. And got Guardian, the Guardian. And Season of the Witch. Which, love this one. Love this one. We're getting closer. Um, in the Company of Whales, Gentle Giants of the Watery Realm. One of those, uh, Ma uh, Maverick. Yeah, Maverick 10 packs. And this says a true story of the triumphs of the human spirit based on the history shaking true story of a small town in Illinois. Skokie? I don't know. But true story. Uh, Bicentennial Man. Baggage Claim. This one's just called G. And uh, Stone. Sorry, I'm starting to get caught in knock. Give me a second. Okay, then the other two Blu-rays, um, A Walk in My Shoes, um, I don't know. It's got three discs, though, because it comes with a soundtrack to this, too, which, uh, looks like it's just a Ch Justin Bieber saying, oh, fuck that. No, thank you. Um, and We Own the Night, which I may have gotten this over at, uh, Dollar Tree, but I couldn't fucking remember, so. Then we got The Oath. Inspired by true events on this one as well. Um, the Wave. This one's a Magnolia one, too. And then Sexy Evil Genius. This has Seth Green in it. And then IP Man, uh, A Legend is Born, and IP Man 3. And Domestic Disturbance. Got just, just a little bit more to go. Sorry about that. Okay. Like I said, we're almost done. Um, got one last score. Um, this one is a, a burned one, but it's a... Oh, excuse me. A TCM Vault Collection. Um, this is One Man's Journey. And then, um, The Signal. This one is a Sniper. And then we got Just Right from 1987. And then Just Right... Okay. I don't know what fucking... The 
the newer one with Queen Latifah, which this is a really good movie. Uh, from what I can remember, it has been a while, but got that, and then um, got the artist. Got the Aristocats, Aristocrats, whatever the fuck that says, I don't know. Pretty sure that's what it says, but anyways. Um, the Boy Next Door. Um, what is it, Straight Kings? In a Relationship. The Real McCoy. And then a double feature of The Centennial and The Siege. And Feast of Love. And uh, Danny Trejo in Frat Pack. Um, I think this is Echelon Conspiracy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not, but. And then Skin Traffic. And lastly... Uh, the Shepherd Border Patrol. Alright, so that is everything. And I know that was that is so much. But oh But yeah, I'm, um, I can't wait to go back and be able to look through the rest of what they got and everything, because, like you said, something like it was, um, like over 3,000 new things that they got in from, from that other record store. So, um, yeah. So, it'll be a nice, uh venture and distraction and therapy session and all that kind of shit to be able to just hopefully be able to go through it um within the next couple of weeks or whatever um i don't know how it's gonna work anyways um also really um i wanted to say thank you so so much to everybody for your wonderful um thoughts and condolences and um kind words and everything on instagram um and on youtube as well for my last video and everything um really does mean a lot to me um like i said right now i am i am really not handling things well i don't really know how to process this how to what you're supposed to do i don't know how to do any how how to handle this i really don't um i want to start crying right now to be honest with you because i just i don't know what to do um just really hard And, like I said, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, or how to handle this, or what this process is supposed to be, how you're supposed to do anything. I don't know. So. Ugh. 
Um, sorry. Um, didn't mean for that to happen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, because there's not really much else to say right now, except for, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. Um, it's really appreciated, and, um, everything <laughs> so um yeah but um i will see you guys in my next video okay bye guys